Now we're talking. Everywhere. Let's fetch them. So this is how I um, saute my chanterelles so I can freeze them. And then they're great for omelets and everything else. First I um, saute up some onions. I do that separate and then put it in a bowl. I also have some garlic ready. The garlic press, some parsley and curry powder. Guys, curry powder really enhances the taste of chanterelles even more. Then I dump the chanterelles in a low heat pan and I make sure that they only cover the pan bottom. I don't want them piled up because now we need to get the water out of them. Now these have been washed. I know some of you cringe about washing chanterelles, but I tell you what, if you live in Florida and you don't want to eat sand, wash them. And after I wash them, I put them on a, um, a kitchen towel, a tea towel, and once they're kind of dripped off there, I put them in the fridge overnight in a bowl wrapped into another tea towel. So they kind of dried out now already more actually than they would have been before washing. So washing them is no problem if you prepare them correctly afterwards. And I'll just let this simmer for the juices to come out. No salt, no spices, nothing added at this point. So after about oh, two, three minutes in my case, you can see that there's some water coming out. Now mind you, there is no oil in this pan at all. And I'll just let them sit there like this to draw a little bit more water out until the water is almost evaporated. So about 10 minutes into it on high heat, you can see the water is barely there anymore. It's not puddling and some places dry up. This is when I take it up a notch. Now this is a big pan and my biggest burner, so adjust to what you have and then I add the garlic, curry powder, and parsley. And then we'll just let this go up a little on the high heat so they roast a little bit and the garlic gets nicely done. Not overdone, but a little bit cooked. And then, and only then, I add the salt. I add this at the very end so that it doesn't draw any more juices out of it. I'll mix this up and we'll take it out and then I'll show you the next step. The next step is to melt some butter in there because chanterelle and butter or any mushroom are like brother and sister. I pretty much have the heat turned off. I just want this to melt. And then I dump all of this in. This is a whole lot more than you've seen. Those are three rounds of what I just did. Because I had a lot. Now I'll just mix this up so everything gets coated with butter. I found that it helps prevent freezer burn, even though I will vacuum seal them in little pouches. But then this, this is ready to go with whatever you want to cook. Oh my goodness, cream sauce over pasta, omelets goulash anything and see they kind of nicely retain their shape still like this they're not just all mush so that's perfect and they're already cooked all you have to do is take them out of the freezer and cook them and next i do my little ones they get special treatment for different dishes but i'll do them the same way and freeze them the same way there's a phone ringing how rude while i'm doing this Your IP address has been compromised to several countries, and your system was yeah, expired. Message deleted. And here are the little ones, all done. Look how nicely they're shaped still. Itty bitty mushrooms. See? That makes a beautiful dish down the road when they come out of the freezer. Smells so good too. Here we go, ready to be frozen. That was so easy. These are vacuum sealed and it'll taste just like we made them once they come out and be defrosted.